Today on the channel, we're headed to San Diego Comic-Con for another Super 7 Ultimate exclusive. This time, a deep cut, Cobra Mortal. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review. And we got one from beautiful Argentina. We got Cobra Mortal, but for all your Cobra Mortal needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description down below. Support the channel. You can also support the channel over at the Super 7 website. Use code KYLEP at checkout to support the channel. And Cobra Mortal, a deep cut if there ever has been. I never even heard of this character before, but as we know, there's European, British releases of the Joe brand under another names and sometimes G.I. Joe. Same thing south of the border all the way down in Argentina. Some of the best steaks you'll ever have down there in Argentina, of course. Uh, but Cobra Mortal comes apparently from that. So a deep, deep, deep cut here. It'll be interesting to see how well this one did. Really a perfect San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know if anybody would get worked up if this was uh, not a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I could see this being quite the peg warmer. So you make it a little rarer, give it a little Easter egg, give it a little uh, presence over there at San Diego Comic-Con is what it is at that point. So that makes sense for me. Know nothing about this character. So he's going to sit in the background of my Super 7 Joes is what he's going to do. But another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's get after it. I forgot the slipcase cover. I guess we'll show that. You got the Cobra logo going on there. You got kind of that tiger stripe there in the black and gray attack looking very good. Very cool slipcase cover here, looking very nice. Cobra logo, always good. See you later. Goodbye. But now let's get down to business with Cobra Mortal. Uh, looking a little bit like Snake Eyes reusing weapons. It's just pure reuse here. It's pure getting the most out of your molds. That's what it is. You get the little dog tag down here. It just says Cobra Mortal. El Enemigo. Enemigo. Okay, we'll do it. So we got that. Got the logo of G.I. Joe up top. Big window box. Nothing fun on the sides. Ultimate at the very top. On the back, we got the file card, but in a plot twist, it's a foreign language. Poor Kyle can't read it, unfortunately. Nombre de Archivo, Desconcidio. Uh, his nombre, his name, I think I knew Matt. A special eyed militar primaria artilleria. Espar militar sucondra compatrucion bellica grado six, or siete. Siete, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Seis, right there. He is classificado, and it looks like basically a Snake Eyes picture over here. And then you got the whole thing down here in Spanish, so I'm not going to read that. Uh, but interesting, he's very classified. He's a guy full of mystery, I guess, uh, like Snake Eyes in some ways. Full of mystery, a mysterious individual. And we're taped up to add to the mystery here. We got a little extra tape on him. They got to keep him under wraps. He is uh, Cobra Mortal. Mortal. There it is. See you later. Goodbye, Plastic Prison. There he is, looking interesting here. He's loaded for bear, though. He's got a lot of weapons. He's ready to take on all comers. But he does look basically just like a Snake Eyes in a different color scheme. And we've seen Snake Eyes throughout the years in many different color schemes. So kind of on brand in a lot of ways. You could almost trick people and say, oh, it's just a variant of Snake Eyes. This is Snake Eyes at the circus is what he is. Who knows? We're going to pop it out. And there it goes. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business with Cobra Mortal, an interesting one if there ever was one, that is for sure. But let's dive into these hands here. Now he's got a red hand and a silver hand. So I guess, you know, half and half. So you got three red hands here. Got a big, deep gripping hand here. He's got a big grip there. Something real thick he's gripping, who knows. We do got another gripping hand here and then you do got a trigger finger hand. Exact opposite uh, hands over here. You get the same thing just for the opposite side, this time in a nice silver color here. So very metallic silvery looking color. Getting down to these accessories, a crossbow. I'm here for a crossbow. A lethal weapon is an old crossbow. I'm here for that. So he does come with that and comes with three arrows for the crossbow. Once again, on brand. Got to be careful you don't lose these, but a nice crossbow here. 
looking very nice. Then you do get a big machine gun, of course, much like a Cobra officer would have, of course, in the line. You got the little uh, spot over here so you can carry it around your shoulder if you need to. Scope at the top there. Definitely on brand here for a Cobra or Joe. And then you get a very futuristic, scientific-like gun here. Almost looks like a spaceship of some kind, all in black. Very futuristic. He could be a guy from space. Who knows where he is? He's very mysterious. He's very classified, as we know. Then we do get the Gung Ho backpack, if I'm not mistaken. This was Gung Ho's backpack. Silver blanket up top. Uh, you got this little shovel back there in silver. You got pockets in black, of course, straps around his back as well. We're here for that. Makes a lot of sense. You got to have a backpack if you're a member of the Joe team or the Cobra team. But now we're going down to Argentina. Like I said, beautiful this time of year. A lot of cattle down there, as we do know. A lot of good eating. A lot of good steakhouses, I've heard. Uh, somebody send me down there. I'll go to a steakhouse. I'm going to go to one of those all-you-can-eat Argentina steakhouses. Like Brazilian steakhouses, but even better is what I've been told. Anybody from Argentina watching this video, shout out to you. Tell me about it in the comments down below. And I bet if you go to an Argentina steakhouse and you're in Argentina, I bet they just call it a steakhouse. That's my guess. That's my guess. You guys tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, looking interesting here. Very much looking like snake eyes. You got the silver. You got the red. You got the black. That's what you got. Very interesting colors. Very futuristic. Very scientific. Very space-like is what this is to me. You got the red mask, you got the silver visor, you got the red dot in his head. Is he going to India? He could be. He's got that going up there. Black on the side, silver metallic throughout, down into the body. Cobra insignia on the chest, you got to have that. Got the suspenders going on like a huge Steve Urkel fan. Shout out to Stefan Urkel. Have you seen his book? Have you seen Steve Urkel's book? Get it. You can get autographed copies uh, if you're into that kind of thing. You got a red arm, you got a silver arm, you got some straps here. You got red on this side, silver on this side. Very interesting. You got a little pocket down here on the side. He's got one black boot and one red boot. Very interesting. I guess he just wears them opera. He's like a young Rick Steiner. He mixes up his boots from time to time. But a very plain Jane. Very colorful, but very plain Jane figure is what this is. And it's a, a head scratcher there. And we already found out I don't have lice. So it is truly a head scratcher of a figure. Arm goes around for us. We do get a bicep cut. Single jointed elbow, side to side. Hands removal back for us, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side, up and down. Usual articulation. Get a little ab crunch in there. Very tight ab crunch on this. A little bit of waist crunch action. Let's see, get those splits, get a little bit of splits there. Not super, super, but a nice tight, uh, but not super deep articulation here. You just don't get that with Super 7. You do get the single jointed knee, no side to side at the knee. Boot cut, yes. Ankles back and forth, up and down. So pretty much par the course on articulation. He's got two fists of Cobra Mortal Fury here. He's going to throw some punches and bunches. Like to see him square off with Snake Eyes. See who the real champion is of mystery. That's what we'll do. Does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% over at ringside collectibles. What do you know? He fits perfectly on the Mattel stand right there. So Cobra Mortal through the door. Not really sure what to think about this one. I don't have a love for him. I don't have a, any existence of him until this was announced. Didn't even know this existed. So it's a little strange for me. Yes, it's building out the Joe team. Yes, I'm getting all these Joes, so I knew I had to have it. But this isn't Flint. This isn't Snake, guys. Heck, this isn't even Duke. It's better than Duke, as you guys know. But no, it isn't Duke either. Just a strange one here. But it'd be interesting if you grew up over in Argentina or wherever and you played with this one. This has got to be playing a lot of hits for you. It's got to be a dream come true in a lot of ways. So I do understand that aspect of this as well. So very, very interesting. Honestly, a perfect San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't think they would do very well if they put this out to mass market. Part of a G.I. Joe Ultimate Wave 6 for so, something like that. This makes more sense. This works for me. Definitely an interesting figure. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? What do you think about this one? Did you pick up Cobra Mortal? Is this something you're interested in? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content, if you can believe it. We got more content over on Patreon. You get early access to both YouTube channels, videos. You get monthly giveaways, monthly Q&As, glamour shots. You name it. It's all going down over there on the old Patreon. Check it out. Support the channel. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you'll find me on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Cobra Mortal, I'm Cobra Kyle. See you guys all real soon.